A while ago now, a couple of years ago in fact, uh, somebody gave me this uh, little generator uh, because it didn't work. said take it away and do something with it. Uh, he told me he'd changed the plug and there was still no spark and I believed him. So uh, I took the flywheel off and uh, it's got a combined uh, stator and trigger unit and a separate coil. And uh, I found a supplier of those and uh, they probably cost more than the uh, generator was worth. So the thing went back on the shelf. I uh, tested the coil with the uh, poor old chap's uh, CDI coil tester, still no spark, so that proved it right. I don't of course know how long this thing had been standing for before I got it, uh, and I've had it for a couple of years. Uh, all the pep petrol had evaporated away, leaving just the two-stroke coil, uh, so the carb was full of oily gunge. Uh, so I, I needed to take the carb off and clean that out uh, to get some clean petrol flowing into the cylinder. Uh, so have a look at that. And then just the other day I uh, wanted a plug for something. Uh, so I took the plug off the generator, no spark. So I tested it. But what you're looking for is around about 4.5k across there across the electrode because these uh, spark plugs with a resistor in which is what the R is for generally about four and a half K anyway four and a half thousand ohms and we're right up in mega ohms so we know this plug's dead this is the kind of thing you should have where are we There, five kilo ohms. That's what you're looking for. So we knew the plug was dead, so I put a different plug in it, any old plug, and uh, away it went. Anyway, uh, I thought because I couldn't find any uh, testing specs on the internet for this uh, particular ignition system, I just thought I'd post the uh, readings for the. Uh, CDI unit I have and other people may then be able to test theirs. I hope it helps you. I don't know how many of these uh, small engine flywheels that I've seen with broken fins and chunks missing off the casting because people have uh, stuck a screwdriver through there to hold it when they undo the nut. The best way to take them off is with one of these. Just check it spinning the right way. They just come straight off. Same goes for putting them back on. Use an impact wrench. Well, on this engine it's a combined uh, stator and trigger unit. And uh, I'm just going to measure the uh, resistance values for you and from the body of the thing to the brown wire that's the one that goes to the on off switch we've got uh, 721 ohms and uh, to the orange wire which is the one that goes to the ignition coil open circuit uh, that's uh, no continuity at all and from the two terminals across the coil 622 ohms what else can I measure I think that's about your lot and looking at the coil itself if we uh, Go from earth to the green terminal open circuit earth to the black terminal open circuit two terminals together a fraction of an ohm basically no resistance and from the end of the HT lead 
to the green, 2,300 ohms, and to the black, 2,300 ohms.